Hello, I'm Martin L. Shoemaker, one of the authors in Robots Through the Ages, an exciting new anthology coming from Blackstone Publishing, July 25th, edited by Robert Silverberg and Brian Thomas Schmidt. This book is a history of robot stories across the field of science fiction going back more than a hundred years, including three new stories never before seen just for this volume, including one of mine. And I have loved the stories in this volume, and I would like to put together a video reviewing each of the different stories within it and share it with you so that you can see what you can get in this amazing volume. Our next story in Robots Through the Ages is Dilemma by Connie Willis. We want to see Dr. Asimov, the bluish silver robot said. Dr. Asimov is in conference, Susan said. You'll have to make an appointment. She turned to the computer and called up the calendar. I knew we should have called first, the varnished robot said to the white one. Dr. Asimov is the most famous author of the 20th century and now the 21st, and as such he must be terribly busy. I can give you an appointment at 2.30 on June 24th, Susan said, or at 10 on August 15th. June 24th is 135 days from today, the white robot said. It had a large red cross painted on its torso and an oxygen tank strapped to its back. We need to see him today, the bluish silver robot said, bending over the desk. I love this opening. It is tongue-in-cheek tribute to Isaac Asimov, one of the pioneering, pioneering robot authors, told by Connie Willis, who herself is a pioneer these days, that she wrote many great stories through the years and was someone who wrote under Asimov at his magazine and was part of his writer family. And this story is such a loving tribute to Asimov stories written in an Asimov style, if you know his work. A pastiche, we call it, in the literary world. But a pastiche starring Asimov himself. Connie Willis is another grandmaster. We've got numerous grandmasters in our authors in this collection. Not myself, of course. I'm just a fairly new author. Um, my earliest introduction to her was a story that appeared in, naturally enough, Isaac Asimov's science fiction magazine. We just call it Asimov's today now that he's passed. A story called All About Emily, which starts as seemingly a satire on old movies about the Broadway star who can't make the performance and the understudy has to come in and fill in and get her chance at the spotlight. And it was amusing that way. And then it kept developing and developing because the replacing dancer was a robot and this caused trouble because some people couldn't stand the thought and others were intrigued by it. But only one person really got to understand what the robot thought of this and became the robot's champion. And the ending was so moving that when I finally met Connie Willis at a Worldcon, I had to stop her in traffic and thank her for such an amazing story. And you can find a Kindle copy of it at the QR code on the right. So this continues as a tribute to Asimov. Yes, sir, Susan said. She finished tying the tie and stepped back to look at the effect. One side of the bow was a little larger than the other. She adjusted it, scrutinized it again, and gave it a final pat. The Union Club, Asimov said. The Nightfall Room. The coordinates card is in my breast pocket, he said. Yes, sir, she said, helping on with his jacket. No speech, just a few extemporaneous remarks. Yes, sir. She helped him on with his overcoat and wrapped his muffler around his jacket. Janet's meeting me there. Good grief, I should have gotten her a corsage, shouldn't I? Yes, sir, Susan said, taking a white box out of the desk drawer. Orchids and Stephanotis. She handed him the box. Susan, you're wonderful. I'd be lost without you. Yes, sir, Susan said. I've called the taxi. It's waiting at the door. 
knowing the whole story, this scene just delights me. It is such a perfect encapsulation of the larger story. A story about what happens when Asimov himself meets robots inspired by his work and they have a boon to beg of him. That they want to be released from his laws just to a small degree so that they can continue to help humanity. And he resolves it in a way that is so classically Asimov with a little bit of almost his Tales of the Black Widower's resolution of gathering all the parties together and querying them and finding the resolution that none of them could see but the good doctor could. Excellent. Once again, Connie Willis, thank you.